Good morning. It is Thursday, August 3rd at 6.18 a.m. and I should really be working out, <laughs> but I'm so tired. <laughs> I came dressed to work out. Let's see? Do a little spin. Woo! <laughs> workout clothes and everything, but I don't, I don't think I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm really tired, I don't want to. I'm so tired, I could cry. Um, so I think that maybe, maybe I should be a studious, industrious employee and type, type, type and work my brain instead of working my body. I'm lazy and I'm tired. <laughs> I'm lazy and I'm tired. Um, in other news, <laughs> lazy and tired is not actually, actually news, and it's just kind of a perpetual state of being, but, um, I am extremely excited. I am going to be seeing one of my favorite couples this weekend, and then since it's Labor Day weekend on Monday, I'm going to see a really wonderful friend, um, that I like a lot. We're going to do a consensual kidnapping and run away together, um, she and I, and I don't know what we do, but we always have lovely chats, and we usually go look at fabric. So probably I'll be off looking at fabric, and then on Tuesday I am going to see that wonderful gentleman that I had the date on, date with on last Tuesday, um, and we're going to do a sewing lesson because he texted me and was like, you were right, I totally didn't know what I was doing with my pleats. And I was like, <laughs> I knew. He was sewing crooked. That's he, he explained what was happening with his fabric when he was sewing it. And um, the only explanation was that he was not sewing a straight line. He was getting confused as he did his pleating and like making it crunch in instead of going straight. You have to like start from the center and work your way out, not start at one end and then work to the other. You'll accidentally rock up your fabric. Anyway. <laughs> Nobody cares, but he cares, and I'm going to have a sewing lesson with him on Tuesday. I'm going to go to his house um, and teach him how to use the sewing machine he bought, since apparently he bought one, never took a lesson, and just started sewing, which I did too, so I can't. <laughs> Except I did it like when I was 17, and so now I know what I'm doing. Oh, look, my arms jiggle. That's what I'm working out for, to get rid of the jiggle. So that when I go like this, it's just muscle and not flubbity. There's muscle in there. Anyway. <laughs> I um, have no body issues. I have lots of confidence. I know I'm very um, flabby all over and I don't even care. <laughs> I mean, I do, I care a smidgen, enough to be doing a weight loss workout thing, I care, but I'm not like, oh no, don't look at my body, I've got wrinkles, and this under my chin, I, I don't care, like, I'm doing things to be more healthy, to be more fit, and to be more able to do the sorts of stuff I want to do, not to fit into a societal norm, I am losing weight because I want to be active again and be able to go out and do things um, and not just sit around and be like, I wish I still hiked. I wish I still went to the beach and played in the waves. Wouldn't it be nice if I still went biking? No, I hate biking, hate it with passion. But for like a summer, my brother went on this biking craze and it was like, everybody pack up your bike and we'll go five, six, seven, ten 10 miles around the lake. And I was like, I hate biking. I've always hated biking, it hurts your butt. And I have a shit bike because I'm not gonna pay a lot of money for a good bike because I don't like biking. <sighs> but like for an entire summer, it was like every family activity was biking. And my family was very close. So it was like me, my best friend, my best friend's best friend, who is now my brother's wife, but at the time was my brother's girlfriend, um, my son and my brother lots of bikes, biking, around things, constantly, and I'd be in the very, very back, bitterly cycling. I hate riding bikes, my butt hurts. There's a bug, bugs, I hate riding bikes. <laughs> that was me for
for an entire summer. The summer of what, 2009? It'd be 2010. <laughs> Bitter in the back on a bike. <laughs> I ramble a lot, don't I? <laughs> Anyways, the point is I'm tired. <laughs> to be in bed. Look at my eyes. They're all sad and sleepy. <sighs> sad, sleepy girl. Wants to be in bed. <laughs> Although it is very nice to be up right now and talking to my gentleman about gas pricing. Sort of. They pay a lot for gas in Europe. You people in Europe, if you're watching me, which I don't think you are, but if you are, wow, you pay a lot for gas. Like, an Americans bitch a lot about their gas taxes, but you guys, you pay way more. He showed me the, like, math, and I was like, ooh, maybe America should shut up. <laughs> but, I mean, isn't that the case about everything? Maybe America should shut up. <laughs> should just be, like, a general blanket statement. I think somebody in the back should just stand up and raise their hand and be like, um, hi, America. I hear you bitching a lot about a lot of things. Just shut up. <laughs> no one cares. Everyone else in the world, in the developed, decent, nice world, does these things, and they don't bitch about it. It's like the it's like the shitty kid in class who's like, why do we have to write an essay and have it be typed and have it be double spaced and have it be X amount of words? Because that's just what you do at this level. That's just what you do. You just do a certain level of work for the little shitty kid on your team at work who's like, oh, I don't see why we have to do all this extra stuff and do this and do that. The other thing, they just asked for the bare minimum. And you're like, no, no, they said what they wanted was this thing and that was a very bare minimum sketch, but they want you to do over and above what they requested of you, sweetie. If you just do the bare minimum, they're gonna be like, oh, well, I mean, it's something, but can we meet again and talk about how maybe you can improve it in these 10 different ways? You don't, you don't ever wanna be the person in that meeting who's like, uh, I thought that this is what you wanted, so I did it. And they're like, yeah, but actually, I mean, this is really good. This is a really nice starting place. Let's sync up again and discuss how it can be improved. No. You want them to see it and be like, wow, this is amazing. This is amazing. Wow, and you did this and you included that and you put the other thing too and there's a chart and you already made a sp slideshow out of it. Wow, that's the employee you want to be, not the, this is a great starting point. Let's discuss how we can um, improve it. That means you suck. You did a bad job and I'm not happy. And on your review, I'm going to be like, I have to meet with her repeatedly to get her to do basic things. Decoding corporate speech 101. And um, I think that that is enough for me today. I should actually either work or work out one of those two and stop, you know, blabbering about my ideas on the internet. <laughs> Happy Thursday.